let's create our first evolved divine unit in anime fighters. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for free bow bucks. Hey yo, what up? F minus gang gang. Welcome back to another anime fighter simulator video. Game is kind of popping off. Probably. You guys let me know in the comments how you are enjoying update 56. Let me know what your best unit is and if you're having fun. Because F minus have been farming in this game all day. I literally spent like the past, I want to say four hours just farming for these new evolution units. If you remember the video I did yesterday basically i was like you know what we're gonna try to get these right here you see my mouse cursor new unit evolution there's two new evolved units they're kind of like divines at least they have the same color as divines but you actually see at the very bottom of the screen it's called like question 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 mark i think that's what it is i do not have it yet However, they have the same colored border as some of these divine units. That's why I call it divine units. They're not actually divines, but they do take divine units to make. And that is exactly what we're doing today. The one we're going to focus on, I think, is on uh, Solo Island right here, World 46. So if you guys also want to make one of these evolution units, evolved units, all you have to do is go to World 46. And then you go down the map a little bit towards the middle. And on the right side, you'll see an evolution machine. And this is where you guys can make an involved unit. Like I said, it has kind of like the same border as like a divine unit. But it does require demonic fruit. And it also requires heavenly shards. I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to farm 75 heavenly shards, it might only take you about one hour, maybe two hours. Those are really easy to farm. The, really, the one that's really hard to farm is demonic fruit. Demonic Fruit, you either have to play in a party with a lot of your friends that are really powerful, or you have to have like max level 630 units or 620 shiny divines, like infused, like F minus, like the best passives possible. So I've been farming like the past couple of hours. I've been playing in my uh, server with all of my friends in it. Shout out to them. They've been help carrying me and I've been carrying them. This is if you want to make Sung John, the main character in solo leveling. And I do believe you need two units. It's going to be Flying Shadow. He has to be infused, by the way. So you got to limit break. First, you got to get three divines. Then you got to make them shiny. Then you have to limit break it. Then you need three of those. So you got to clone it three more times. And then you have to infuse it. And that's what that little DNA symbol is if you look at my mouse cursor. So I'm going to go ahead and select him. And then my other fighter you're going to need is a Cursed Dragon King. So like I said, if you have a level 630 uh, Cursed Dragon King or any like, you know, shiny divine infused in the game that's level 630, you should be able to complete the new insane uh, dungeon or impossible dungeon uh, relatively it would take like 30 minutes, 25 minutes. That's how long it's been taking me. But you will be able to do it and you can farm de uh, demonic fruit uh, if you're solo. If you're in a group, though. It's a lot easier. I definitely recommend doing it in a group. I'll probably sacrifice this one. I just need to get three more demonic fruit and then I, th I guess like 13 heavenly shards. So that's if you try to evolve it. We will be able to make it for the video. I'm just showing you right now how you guys can also do it. Heavenly shards, easy to get. Demonic fruit, as long as you got secret units, level 620s, level 630, a full team. Maybe you have like a damage event. I do have a damage event turned on, by the way. I have a 6x damage event. You're using a super damage boost. You're using the damage avatar. You better be using vegetable. If you're not using vegetable, it is going to be tough to complete these dungeons. But if you do all of that, um, the hardest thing to get is probably these right here, the infuse units. But... I mean, every update, what do I show you guys? Let's make the infused unit. Let's do this and that. Well, I'm glad I did because I have so many flying shadows and so many cursed dragon kings. Probably. Look at this. Literally, the last couple of videos I did, I showed you that. And then one of the update videos I did, I showed you how many flying shadows I have. I have two, but one of them is infused. So that's what F- minus has been working up with. Uh, we are gonna head right now to the time chamber. Let's go farm some heavenly shards And all I'm gonna do is stand right here until we have 75 shards We'll know if we have 75 shards because you can see my inventory. We're starting with 62 Remember we are starting with 62. Let's see how long it takes to get to 75 2,000 years later 
All right, y'all, go ahead and take a look at it. It's been only about 15 minutes, and it says plus nine on the right side. You see my inventory right there. Um, let's go check it out. We should have enough, and there you guys go. We have 76 evolution shards. It's just like I told y'all, you can get about one per minute, maybe if you're unlucky, one every two minutes, but they're not that difficult to get. The harder thing to get is gonna be the demonic fruits because uh, we already have the infused units so we're gonna go to the challenge hub right now i do have to tell you if you're gonna try to get these demonic fruits it's not affected by drop rate so don't take your drop team into insane dungeon it's not gonna work it's not gonna do anything for you you want to take as much damage as you can because the enemies are really difficult to kill if you guys are not on the last map of the game you're not gonna be able to get your evolved unit get to the last map first and then get the units from there, try to make it max level, or get the units from like at least maybe world 53, 50, 53, 52, 54. Get the divine, get the secret, max level them. You you don't have to infuse them, but you definitely should limit break them, get double passives. And make sure you guys are using the artifact of attack, artifact of multitude. More fighters, more damage, artifact of attack. I mean, more damage, <laughs> there you guys go. That's all you need. Use a super damage boost. I'm using the event damage boost as well. Remember what I said at the bottom right of the screen? 6x damage event. Now, if I try to start a dungeon, I think there's somebody in there. I'm gonna go to a different server. Um, it shouldn't be that difficult to kill the enemies, especially since I have a level 630 unit. Now, I know this is a shiny divine infused. However, I have a level 630 sensei octopus. You see this right here? It has 10 0 damage. Max talent, max level, limit broken, but no passives. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the time chamber. We're gonna switch some really good passives onto them. And I'll show you guys that you can still do the insane dungeon. Um, I don't know. You can try to do a solo, but you know, play with a friend, It'd be a little bit easier. And then you guys should be able to uh, handle it with not too much trouble at all. So I'm going to take that, switch it to our Sensei Octopus, boom, token transfer. And then we're going to do the next one, the Snowstorm right here. And we're going to switch it to Sensei Octopus, boom, let's go ahead and token transfer. There you guys go. A unit you can reasonably get, 630, limit broken, it's a secret from the newest map. F- minus. we can't get Divine Passives. Yes, you can. If you redeem the code Valentine, this will give you 10 Passive Luck Potions. Use a Passive Luck Potion right here. And you combine that with the artifact of dreams you only need about 1000 rerolls to get a divine passive so i mean you can get a divine passive you just need to put in the work for it it might only take you i don't know 30 minutes you just need like a thousand rerolls go break some chest inside of a uh, dungeon mode it doesn't have to be insane it could be like i don't know hard it could be easy and then with a decent enough drops boost maybe you have a drops game pass you're using a super drops boost uh, one of these you can get rerolls you get a divine passive and boom you will have a sensei octopus 66 0 it's enough damage it will work all right here we go we're in one of my friends private servers getting a little annoying trying to find a public server that's uh not being used the dungeon everybody's trying to do it so like i said all we're gonna do is take our best team uh, so I'm just going to equip best, and I think we might need to change a couple units. Sensei Octopus, I switched the passive back, but I need to get some Ghastly units. So Ghastly units going to be a lot stronger for us. If we get the, the team damage, uh, we're going to be able to scale off that a little bit better. So here's some Ghastly units. We got the 500 inch man, we got Engineered Alien, we got Jaros Apelli, we also got Black Bolt Asta. And there's the finished team, strongest unit 310-0, and then a bunch of Ghastly units. So you could do the same thing F- is doing. Maybe you don't have extra cook game pass, I don't know. Uh, but you could take one carry unit and a bunch of other units with like a team damage passive and it will work. I mean, how do you guys think I farmed, how many fruit? 47 fruits. So I basically clapped out two dungeons already. So I'm gonna go ahead and open, I think one of my friends said if you do like one of the earlier worlds, it's easier. I have no clue if that's true or not, but we're gonna do Super Island, Insane. Insane is the only way to get those demonic fruit. And then we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, I guess like a friend, nah, we'll do public, it doesn't matter. I'm, I think I'm, I'm the only one who in this server who's gonna be able to kill stuff. And then uh, we're gonna change that artifact back to the artifact of attack. And that artifact of attack, artifact of multitude, there you guys go. We're going to go ahead and enter this dungeon. We should be able to beat it pretty easily. I'm going to go ahead and turn on, let's see, auto attack. And then everything else is on. So um, F- minus is trying to beat the dungeon now. All we need to do is just find one chest room. And you guys can see right here, um, the enemies are dying. On average, it takes about five seconds, I want to say. Five seconds on average, as long as it doesn't lag. Sometimes it lags, it takes like 10 seconds. But most of the time, it's like five seconds per enemy. 
every single room, maybe 10 enemies. So it only takes about one minute per room. Sometimes you can beat it, sometimes you can't. Just keep in mind, not all of my units are 630. Some of them are only 620. So I'm showing you guys, you can beat it if you only had one carry unit plus a bunch of ghastlies. This right here, 59-0, oh, it's actually not really contributing that much. It's just my main carry unit. If I had a full team of ghastlies, and you know what? I might actually do that right now. I'm going to unequip everything, and I'm just going to get a full team of ghastlies just to show you. You can clap it out. And this is just solo, by the way. You don't have to do solo like F- -minus. You don't You don't have to. <laughs> you can um, do it with a group. You can go on the Discord server, ask for help. And I promise you will be able to beat it as long as uh, you know what you're doing. You have enough damage. You obviously still need a decent amount of damage. And there you go. Full team of Ghastly, one carry unit. And we already beat the first room. That's how you guys do it right there. So my only strong unit is just one infused uh, unit right there. So we're doing pretty good so far. I mean, you guys can see we are clapping out these enemies. Baby face right there. We just killed it. Here's the next enemy right there. Uh, baby force, actually. So this one, look at that. See? We just killed it. When the abilities for your units get off, you do massive amounts of damage. And this is a full solo, not, you know, any help at all. I'll see you guys once I reach a treasure chest room, and then we can finish this up. All right, check it out. We got a treasure chest room. Um, Yeah, this is pretty much it. We're soloing it. Once again, there's somebody in this server. Uh, his name is Rex. He's not attacking, so it's just me solo. This is just doing one unit carry. Rest of the units, just team damage, 530s. You guys can pull that off. But this is a solo, by the way. So you don't want to do a solo. You don't feel comfortable. It's all good. I'm still going to show you guys what the evolved unit looks like. I mean, we got enough shards. We almost have enough demonic fruit. We just need three more. And then after that, we already have the infused units from all the update videos I did. I mean, that. what do you think I do in my free time? And then after that, I mean, we'll see how strong this dude is. I mean, I don't know if it's as strong as a heavenly unit. And if you saw my last video, I did get a heavenly unit. I can show you guys the base damage. It's 48k. Shiny is 84k. So it's pretty damn impressive. I would say this is a little bit easier to probably get than a heavenly unit. Heavenly unit is definitely really tough because... I mean, you gotta hatch like what, 100 million times with a 2x? Maybe like 75 million times? I hatched about 70, 60 million times. We got one. Uh, but here is the chest 161 MO. It could take you an entire minute to break the chest, or maybe you can't even break the chest. I do know, however, even if you only do, I think, like 1 MO damage, 5 MO damage, you will still get one fruit. I did this in a server with all of my other friends. And uh, he only did like 1% HP and he still got a demonic fruit. So if you think about it, if you had like 11 alternate accounts, they do a little bit of damage to the chest and you have a main account that break it, you would have 12 demonic fruit. These are a 100% chance to get. So there you guys go at the very bottom of the screen. I got one demonic fruit. All I'm going to do now is, well, we got kind of unlucky with that one. There was only one chest. Usually you want to try to get two chests three chests inside of those treasure chest rooms. All right, I'm gonna need y'all to start praying for F minus. We only got about 16 minutes at the top of the screen, but I've pretty much beaten the entire dungeon solo. The boss room is right there. You can see the map at the bottom left. All the rooms are pretty much unlocked. I have another treasure chest room here, but we still need two more demonic fruit to make this fighter. So, I mean, woo, we gotta have two treasure chests in there. There's no two chests. We're not gonna be able to get this, um, well, at least if there's a boss key, I kill the boss and then we can get the chest. But I mean, I don't know if there's a boss key in here. We're going to have to look. Come on, two chests. Yeah, there we go. Big money right there. Remember, you only have to attack it, I guess, at least when I tested it once. Just keep in mind, the HP of the chest can get pretty high. 130 ammo is a lot if you guys don't have uh, level 620, level 630 units. Once again, I'm only using one maxed out unit. The rest of them are goofy. Look at that, 610, 560, like, come on, bro. My weakest unit, level 500. I technically just have team damage unit, level leader three, basically. Leader three, leader three, leader three, ghastly. Whatever you guys want to take and your strongest unit. And if you have a damage boost, damage event, um, maybe you have like extra equipped game pass, you guys can clap it out. Look at that right there. We just need to do this one more time. So we got 49 demonic fruit out of 50. Um, the other, I think, Evolved Divine unit, I don't think I can make it for this video. I'm just letting you know that it's Melidus. Um, you need an infused Endeavor. 
and an infused uh i don't remember who else it was there was like another divine unit that you needed and i do not i have flaming here like let me show you guys i have a flaming hero right but i do not have them infused because i don't infuse those kind of fighters those are really really weak so i'm just gonna guess i guess i'm gonna show you the stronger of the two maybe they have the same damage i have no clue i'm hoping it's at least decently strong almost as strong as a heavenly that way it's an alternative if you can't get the heavenly maybe you make an evolved divine um evolved divine it could take you a week to make heavenly could take you a month to get though so there you guys go we're now ready to make it hey save no say no more <laughs> world 46 we're gonna go ahead and hop on over there um this is gonna be my first evolved divine unit so the title could say you know first divine is gonna be my first it's not gonna be the first in the game but it's gonna be my first here's the evolution machine we have enough requirements we farm like an entire day um just for the fruits and the shards infusing could take a long time though and then we're gonna take one of the worst cursed dragon kings i have and then flying shadow we're gonna take this one it's infused and if you guys are ready i'm ready too let's go ahead and do it in three two and one let's go ahead and evolve this dude okay it says fighter one is not valid for this recipe so i guess you have to make sure flying shadows on top and the bottom is cursed dragon king so oh actually i just realized uh you need an infuse this is not infused this is infused okay so there i guess flying shadow on top cursed dragon king on bottom you can't switch them around or maybe i did something wrong we're gonna do it though right now let's go ahead and evolve it um okay i evolved it do i have the unit in my inventory or do you what the <laughs> ah! <laughs> what two days oh my god wait oh hold on hold on we can cook guys uh looks like it's affected by time multiplier i thought it was gonna be automatic that's lame okay that's okay. We can take our real-time team. And then, what do we got? Super time boost going. So, I have 50x time uh, with a time boost. So, let's see. 30 seconds, 20 seconds. Okay, I'll see you guys in maybe about a couple hours. Maybe one or two hours, and it should be done. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Big money right here. We got about three minutes left. Been waiting, you know, time chamber. A little bit of this and that. I got like 60x time. But there it is. One minute left. 34 seconds left. We now have created our first uh, Evolved Divine. I don't know what these would be called. Craftable Divines. It says Evolution, though. So, I mean, we're just going to go ahead and claim it. And there you guys go. We have done it. All I'm going to do now is just go to my inventory and unequip everything. I don't know how strong it is. I don't even see it. Oh, there it is. Cool. So, this is the one, right? Flying Shad... No, this is a... <laughs> That's definitely not it. Let me go in my index. I'm going to scroll down. So it's called S Evolved. Okay. So there's two Evolved. You can see Melodis right there. But here is Sung John. Main character in solo leveling. Whoa. Damn, boy. Damn. Yes, sir. You already know. Okay. So he has, let's see, 17,000 base damage. And the Heavenly unit has... 48,000. Now, the strongest divine in the game, non shiny, is 8,000. So, evolved is more than twice as strong. And I'm going to tell you right now if you guys are giving up on trying to get heavenly units, just go for an evolved unit. It's like half the damage. It's not that bad. Shiny is 29,000. Come on, y'all. Come on, F minus right now. Let's get it. Um, let's go type it in final form. Sung John. So he starts at level one. I guess his level resets and he's doing 16,000. Now, there's a, some questions you guys might have. I mean, you can show you how he looks real quick. He looks pretty cool. It's kind of hard to see, but um, looks like he has a face. I mean, it's the main character. He's this is the final form right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Destiny Island. That's probably the biggest question you had. Can you make him shiny? Can you max his talents? Um, can you limit break him? I think you can limit break him. I don't know what kind of fruit he takes though. Is it divine fruit or is it something else? Oh God, <laughs> you need demonic fruit. Ooh, yeah, demonic fruit is crazy. Those are hard to get. Evolve shards, the heavenly ones, those are kind of easy it's these for that are like really tough so there you guys go we have created him um this took an entire day and i already had infused units if i didn't have infused units it could take me 
or any other player in the game probably anywhere between i don't know half a week to a week if you were end game um, but that's still going to be faster than trying to make a heavenly unit uh, or trying to get a heavenly unit that could take you a month but yeah this is what you guys are definitely trying to go for i mean the whole process like i said i would do it it's not as strong as my heavenly unit that i got once again i'm pretty sure one of the developers gave this to me because or maybe like an admin because <laughs> it's number zero and it should not say that but hey i'll take it i work on the game too back in the day so there you guys go we got immortal king and we got sung john definitely definitely recommend to get the evolved unit the next video i do i'll try to make him stronger i just can't do it on this video i mean i can at least show you like me leveling him up i can go to the incubator um and then try to like put him in there let's go unequip the final form select him incubate him level 588 so there you guys go he's already max level 610 it took like half a second so and you want to see his damage um i'm gonna go ahead and put it right here 1.80 so he's actually pretty powerful as well 1.80 you guys let me know what you think though really do appreciate your guys support and until next time guys i'll see you in the next video